in comparison with uh, uh, doing phds or masters from indian universities uh, what uh, thing you find different in uh, german universities thing that i really like here that there is no tuition fees i don't have to pay any single penny to get my degree and that's something really amazing and second thing is the um the 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 high class research and the facilities that we have here um that's that's really good like we have really world class equipments and everything that i need so labs are good so that's also something which is really good in germany i would say as compared to india so in india there are problems related to funding i would say and uh what else i would say i would say it's it's not just that you do phd uh, it's also that you're living in another country that itself makes you grow a lot i mean for example me now i know how to cook <laughs> in india i was not doing any cooking so i know how 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 to cook nice food now i manage my groceries i manage my house i clean my house i manage my entire life myself pay my bills you know like so living in another country really makes you a better person i would say in every regards at least it makes you more responsible um as compared to in iit is the only job that i had to is to do my research go to the hostel eat sleep again do my research so i really learned a lot of management uh, here how to how to manage my time and i really learned how to have a good work life balance and that's something which is really um fostered here in germany as compared to india i don't get any e- emails on saturday or sunday neither do i have to reply on them so my professor doesn't expect me to work on weekends oh. um so that's also a really good thing um, and of course if you are in europe you have this schengen Work visa balance. that you can travel to other countries um yeah i managed to travel to to 10 european countries so far so oh. yes living in another uh, european country gives you also opportunity to travel so yeah um a lot more to learn uh, not just phd but a lot more to grow if you just go out of your comfort zone a uh, lot more to learn from another culture yeah for example germans are known to being punctual and now you, if so if a me- if there is a meeting at 5:30 i would be there at 5:29 because this is now how i have you know in india it's fine if you just sign in at 5:31 nobody would say anything but here if you're one or two minutes late people might really say oh you're late i learned a lot to be punctual okay. is it uh, a re- any requirement to uh, publish these many articles or uh, papers to come to have a phd degree and uh, what's the difference in uh, like uh, paper publishments in uh, compared to mm-hmm. indian universities and uh, german universities i what i personally feel is um, that there is a huge pressure in india that you have to publish and publish and publish uh but here in my university it it depends on the department for example okay. the chemistry department in my building does not have any compulsory requirement of publishing paper mm-hmm. and you can get your degree if you have done a good work so in my department in material science department you have to publish at least one paper as a first author people here from my experience they really focus a lot on good quality research rather than just producing n number of papers uh is it a compulsory requirement to have german language to go into german universities no not at all my phd is in english and there are many courses that are in i mean in masters there are many courses that are in english not all of them mm. in phd there are also some professors who are giving uh, you know who have german as an as a language of instruction but most of the phd's are in english but uh in bachelors uh they have all the courses in german so i think that's why they have this misconception coming to uh, like uh, guidance uh, which you could give for a student aiming for german university what uh, guidance you would suggest for i would say um there is no substitute to hard work no matter where you live so germany in germany courses are really difficult if you are aiming for masters so be prepared that you would have to really work hard because they have this really high quality let's say studies and yeah i mean as come so now coming to the language that you just said um if you want to come and study in germany it's always good to learn the language at least learn some basic basic level of german because when you come here and you go to the supermarkets to buy stuffs everything is in german so you should at least know what is milk or what is you know sugar the things yes, that sir. you need to take so that you don't buy salt 
in yeah. case of sugar you know uh, so um i would say don't hesitate in uh, learning the language or, or feel it as an extra effort but because it would only help you to to adjust to this society so from from my case for example i i learned now german i can speak fluent german and and believe me it's fun <laughs> you you feel part of the society you know because you can understand what they're speaking and you can communicate well um what else i would say i would say just try don't just give up inform yourself well uh, there are many courses in 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 english yeah. just inform well if you want to apply for in every universities for sure like there are <coughs> master courses that are in english and one good point is that you don't have to pay any tuition fees um, yes, as compared yes. to us uh, you know like people pay a crazy amounts of tuition yeah, fees yeah. so in these terms i would say like germany is a really 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 nice destination to study coming to the job opportunities there are really good job opportunities in fact germany is in shortage of skilled workers are uh, so job opportunities are indeed good um learning german helps of course um i'm again again stressing on german because it is indeed uh, important uh, as far as far uh, my experience so far for mm-hmm. a master student who goes to germany uh, Uh, yeah the one thing is sure that uh, he will have fee waiver he no need to pay anything but uh, coming to cost of living uh, will he uh, in general get uh, compulsory stipend uh, so typically the students who come from india they need to have a certain amount of money in their bank account uh, they need to have i guess now due to inflation it's uh, a higher amount now i think they need to have 11000 euros in their oh, yeah 11000 euros for one year in their blocked account um they don't have to pay the tuition fees uh but they have to pay a compulsory uh a semester deposit of 250 euros and in that 250 euros they get um a semester ticket so they get a lot of student benefits so they can travel in their state free at least in my state it is the case that as a student or as a phd student also i can travel in the trains and the buses for free uh, and trams as well coming to the scholarships um there are some scholarships that one can apply for for example this erasmus mundus scholarship uh you can apply okay. as a master student to the scholarship um and also if you don't get any scholarship you have as a student you can also work i guess 240 days um, um okay. uh, in a year as a part-time. so you can go for several side jobs yeah you can go for a uh, several side jobs or part-time jobs and there are also uh, part-time jobs at university is this concept called heavy student so you can work as a heavy in 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 in, in, u- in university so that's also a technical job so for example you can go and work in the lab and then you get paid for it yeah so that that also helps to enhance your skills and you get money right so this is a good way to to cover your costs of it uh, so yeah. the, uh, then coming to one uh, final question uh, like uh, what is your aim or what you want to become after uh, completing the phd so of course i'm doing my phd so i would like to continue as a scientist 